Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to discuss about geology. So our first topic here will be physical geology. And under this topic here, now we are going to study weathering. So this is a very basic level knowledge on geology in which we need to study about the soils, the rocks, minerals and so on. So, in weathering, geologists basically recognize two different processes. Here we have two process of weathering. So, let us first begin with the physical weathering. So, our first type is physical weathering, whereas the second type is chemical weathering. So, by the very name, physical weathering you can say that physically we break the rocks and the minerals into small fragments so this process is done by physical or mechanical process so in physical weathering the rocks the minerals are disintegrated here we have the rocks and the minerals are disintegrated physically or mechanically and we get small segments small fragments of rocks and we can define them in three different sizes we can define three different sizes of segmented rocks so the very first is known as coarse grain here we have the largest pieces, the largest remained pieces are under coarse grain. So for example, we can say pebbles or cobbles. So these are the types in which rocks are broken in three different, uh, three different sizes where the first is coarse grain, which means that coarse grain is basically the biggest form, the biggest sizes, the biggest rock particles which are left after physically or mechanically breaking them up and secondly we have the middle sized which is known as medium grained so in medium grain you can say uh, we can have sand so in medium grain we have sand because the sand is not as large as pebbles or cobbles but have a medium larger uh, size and third the smallest particles the smallest will be named as fine grained so in fine grained we can say clay or mud and these type of things which are very very short very very short in size so here you can see we have basically three different size distinguishing of the segmented rocks that is the broken rocks we have done in physically or me uh, mechanical process so here we had physical weathering which in which you can see again we have uh, we have been breaking the rocks uh, we have been disintegrating the rocks physically or mechanically and we get three types of rocks three types of the resultant rocks where we have the first one is the biggest one the coarse grain second we have the medium sized and third one is the fine grain which is the smallest sized so basically this is the first process of weathering and now let's move on to the second process which is chemical weathering so chemical weathering by its name says that the rocks basically go under chemical reactions so here we have chemical weathering so as you know rocks are uh, obtained rocks are made up in uh, under the very deep of the earth here we have rocks are formed in depth of earth that is they are formed very deep within the earth but due to uplift or erosion we have processes like uplift or erosion where the first layer of the soil is uh, taken away by the water or any flood so due to these processes what happens is the rocks which are under very depth of the earth comes on the top of the surface of the earth these rocks comes up top surface of earth 
and as you know there is a vast difference between the climatic conditions the uh, chemical conditions between the depth of the earth and the top surface of the earth because here in the depth of the earth we have high temperature we have high pressure we have uh, lower free, free water but in top surface we have low temperature we have also have low pressure we have free water so due to these climate uh, due to these chemical changes between the depth of the earth and top surface of the earth the rocks go under chemical reactions the rocks has to go under chemical reactions and we have different types of reactions such as let us note down few different types of reactions where first is hydrolysis and by the name you can say this is basically dependent on the water part in which here we have as you must have read in chemistry that is H plus or the OH minus the hydrogen particles are uh, this the these basically these particles replaces the ions of the rock here we have the ions because as you can see this is hydrogen positive ion this is OH negative ion so these ions basically replace the uh, original ions of the minerals replace ions of minerals so these these are basically more stable on the top surface of the earth because here we have different uh, chemicals conditions below the earth and uh, on the top surface of the earth so the hydrolysis part takes place when the rocks come up on the top surface whereas the second process can be known as leaching these are basically the old chemistry based uh, chemical reactions so these are uh, in leaching you can see that the ions are removed in leaching you must be know ions are removed because of flowing of water because of water they the ions are basically dissolved in water and are flown away so there are no more positive or negative ions in minerals so there is a decrease in the ions therefore they change their condition and go disintegrated and third we can say oxidation which basically takes place because of the presence of oxygen so on the earth surface there is a larger number of oxygen but in the depth there is a less amount of oxygen so due to this change the process takes place whereas we have few more such as four we have dehydration fifth we can say the living organisms which play a very vital role here living organisms play a very vital role as you must know that in the depth of the earth we do not have much amount of living organisms but at the top we have a huge amount of living organisms such as plants we have few fungi also we have lichen bacteria and so on so basically what these living orga organisms do is they secrete organic acids they give organic acids and due to these organic acids due to this these organic acids secreted by the plants fungus bacteria etc due to these rocks undergo chemical reactions rocks undergo chemical reactions so here you can see we have discussed two different pipe fire uh, two different processes of weathering where we have first physical weathering where we do it intentionally by physical or mechanical methods secondly we have chemical weathering where the difference between the top of the earth and the depth of the earth due to this difference the rocks undergo chemical reactions and are disintegrated so we have discussed about weathering and its two pasts so it was a basically a very important topic under the physical geology so we so i will like to end this video here you will find few more topics discussed on geology in our further videos